Hi, I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today I'm going to ask you, what are you willing to do to be with your twin flame? And I hope that your answer is anything at all, because that is the only correct answer. What is it that you would be willing to do to be with them? You're uh, you're sad, you're lashing out, you're uh, depressed, uh, you have no hope, you are, you know, this, is, this journey is making you absolutely nuts, yet you continue to, uh, you know, be in Twin Flame groups and watch Twin Flame videos, and uh, to any degree that this is happening, um, what it, what do you, what is it that you're choosing and what is it that you're doing about it? You know, so if you are, if you're continually choosing love and you're continually choosing your twin, then you're on the, the right path. And if you are continually choosing fear and you're continually choosing just to bitch about stuff, and you are not doing any anything at all, you know, any spiritual work. Um, you're not you're not really uh, taking care of yourself, or or you know, doing anything that would uh, promote any type of lifestyle that would attract your twin flame, or put you in a place to actually receive your twin flame. Uh, you know, you, there, there are these videos that all oh, the divine masculine is, is, uh, once it, once they, uh, circle back around Pluto and Saturn, they're, they're coming home for you and believing this stuff is, if that's what you, if that's what you choose to do is fine. However, it's not getting you anywhere to what you're really asking for and what you really want. Uh, and so a lot of times, uh, you know, instead of actually just doing the work, which would be so much easier and so much, uh, you know, less of an effort there's that opposite action that's being done and that opposite action is you know keeping you in this state of craziness and depression and sadness and you know uh, a billion other things that that uh, a, ne a negative emotion that you can think of And so it's only when you choose to choose to heal yourself and choose to heal yourself of all of these negative emotions that you're having. And, uh, you know, for example, if, if your twin is, is uh, saying something uh, that's not so nice or saying something negative to you or, or doing something negative to you, uh, that is a lesson, that is uh, a lesson in gold that you can learn from because that's all it is. The only thing that's happening is that your twin is teaching you something through a specific, a very specific divine action that is taking place in order to teach you something. And if it didn't bother you and it didn't sting and it didn't hurt, then you wouldn't really care and you would just you know, go on your merry way and skip throughout the day like, you know, nothing was wrong. However, the fact that it does really bother you and does really upset you uh, is showing you that, that, hey, look at me. This is something that you need to heal. And your twin is providing you that in order for you to heal it. So there's no reason to, um, you know, let that affect you to the point that you want to give up and there's no hope 
and you're really, really sad and you don't know what to do. And now there's like so much doubt in your life that uh, maybe you want to jump out of a window. <laughs> I'm not very sure. However, if instead you take that, take that instance and, oh, wow, that really sucks. Okay, what is this teaching me? You know, what am I supposed to learn from this? What am I supposed to heal from this? I'm done with with that it sucked and, and that was something in my life that was very unpleasant. You know, I put that I put that away. That 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 vanished uh, just like that because I realized that what what had just happened was nothing that I ever would have asked for in my experience. And since that's the case, since that did happen, now I'm looking at why it happened and what inside of me caused that to happen. And then what I need to do to heal that in order for that not to happen again. And so it's, it's, it's very, very simple when, when, uh, you know, especially when, um, people are in communication with their twin and, and they have these experiences happening to them that they don't really like all that much. These are phenomenal tools in order for you to heal your upsets in order to get into union. These are all happening in order for you to love yourself and to get into union. So anytime that something like this happens to you, you realize it for what it is. It is intended as a tool to teach you something, and that something is to love yourself in a place that you weren't loving yourself. That's all it is. So you can put away the tissues. You know, you you don't have to crawl up into a ball with uh, 3,000 empty ice cream containers scattered all around. You know, you can realize that this is something that is meant to teach me something. That's what it was intended for. It is pure love behind it. The base of it and the core of it is pure love teaching me where I need to love myself. And then bing, bam, boom, you know, in a matter of a few minutes, you can heal that upset and you're back to, uh, then you're on to the next one or whatever else is, is being shown to you. Or, you know, you're, you're off to, you know, feeling super fantastic again until, you know, the next occurrence happens and then you heal that. And each step along the way, you heal and heal and heal and heal until, boom, you're in union. You know, then, you know, obviously there's there's more healing to be done uh, together. But you're together and you're healing it and you're doing it as, part, as a partnership. And, you know, this is a partnership also, uh, regardless of whether you are uh, in separation or not in separation. However, you know, this is something that uh, tends to be the more um, the 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 way that that things tend to happen uh, regularly, where you're being shown each step of the way, and you know your twin, uh, who may or may not know what's going on. Uh, chances are they they are acting on their own divine guidance as you are acting on your own divine guidance so remember these things that that put it into that perspective and compartmentalize that that it's not there to hurt you at all it's there to help you and you don't have to be upset about it initially there will be it's a, a great upset, but that's that's the 
that's the firework going off that, hey, look at me, I need to heal this. You know, that's, that's the indicator. And then uh, from that point, it's your choice. Do you choose to heal from that point on? And do you choose to be uh, in control of, of your life and, and take responsibility for what is happening to you right now? Take responsibility for yourself and your actions or... The other choice is, you know, following that, that fear or, or that whatever happened and taking it and running with it into negative town and just being a complete mess for, you know, however long that those are your choices. And, you know, this, this journey is, um, is not an easy one when you try to do it on your own. I would love to help you uh, move through your journey into union and uh, you know that that would be a great 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 pleasure pleasure of mine uh, and you know visit as one guidance for all the services I offer uh, I just added a new service of uh, a written card reading which uh, would be you know I will be pulled pulled cards and uh, I would send pictures of each card and descriptions of of what each card meant tailored to your journey and yourself um, subscribe to my channel and you know feel free to leave a comment down below and I will see you next time take care